Hello, you fantastic beast! Bone Jess here, and welcome back to Canarium! Let's continue where we left off, which was over there, somewhere. Hey, this is that place that, um... Uh... Weren't we at this place? I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. Well, um... Probably have to melt it somehow. Maybe with fire? Maybe I can go through here. Alright. Well, I don't have anything to make a fire with, so. This obelisk is dead. Yeah, I don't know what that is. A torch of some sort, I suppose. It's not working. It's not? How can you be certain? Maybe we just need to sing to it or something. These must be the golems. But yeah, so elder things, that's what the yith. Yith. The yish is called. The yith. Lith. The yith. Yith. I don't know. I like Toll of Cthulhu. Um, actually, on New Year's Eve, uh, me, Jason, and Jess did a Call of Cthulhu type, uh, like, it's like, I don't know what they're called, but it's, it's like, uh, one little short story, and you just make up a character real quick and do a little short story. That was a lot of fun. It was neat. Oh, I'm like, what is that? What is it? Ah! Oh. Um, but yeah, there was like a light, which was like, I guess like dead lights. People ended up dying in them. Uh, and I guess that's what the little book thing it actually called it was dead lights. Cause I, I kind of thought Jason had just made that up cause he knows that I like uh, Pennywise. Um, wow, this is really mazy. But yeah, at one point, like, my character saw, uh, like, a silvery thing forming into something. And my character was the best at driving. And I always rolled really high when it had to do driving. It's great. It's like, that's the only time I roll highs when I don't... Well, I guess it does matter, because if you're not good at driving, you can get into a lot of trouble, crash your car, be stuck out in the cold. So, guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, my character wasn't much into, like, guns. What are we doing? I'm just looking around and yibber yabbering and blabber blibbering. Maybe I should stop it until I find something. It's a mummy! Hello, mumly! Mumly. <laughs> uh, hello, governor! Hello, ball in the hole! Oh my goodness. We all float down here. Um. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's this? What the hell is that noise? Can I move that back? I think I'll leave it for now. Cause I don't really know what it does. One. Oh, the audio. Looks like something's missing here. Okay, so we probably have to find something to put there. Okay, so we'll leave that like that, and I'll go exploring some more. Oh, we will go exploring. Depends on if I edit it out or not. Or I might. Depends on if I say anything or see anything interesting. Sometimes I edit out really interesting stuff, and then, like, you guys come in halfway in between with no context of what the hell I was just talking about, and I'm just laughing, going, they have no idea what I was just talking about. The sounds are creepy. Hey, what's this thing? Looks like something's missing here. Um... 
Your brain. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Isn't it you turn the light on? No. What was it that I did that... I don't remember. Way in crud. Ooh, what's this? This stonework seems weak. Didn't I have an axe at some point? Oh, wait a minute. I don't know where the- I mean, I know that I got the axe, but I needed the axe a minute ago for- or I, Well, no, I, I didn't need the- oops. This wall seems weak. Well, then chop away, dear. Um, but I, 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 I couldn't find my inventory a little while ago. You know, I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that we've just damaged this axe that I was- A secret! I've just damaged the axe that I could have used to kill the Cthuloids. Let me in! Little pig, little pig, let me in! Not from the hair of my chinny chin chin! I can see light coming through a crack in the- Come- I can see light coming through the crack in the- Ugh. Sensor. Okay. With the elder's eye. Okay. Oops. That was a weird looking thing. So is that one. Oof. That one's weird too. What's this one? Oh, this is, oof. Cthulhu. A Cthulhu thing. What is that? Mm. Well, this was just a secret anyways. Oh, I didn't have to find it. That I did. Hey! Ah, brilliant! Sheer brilliance! Sheer brilliance! Did you see that? That was brilliance. Oh, yeah. Right. What is it doing? Ah! Oh. The light! It burns! Okay. Okay. Can I walk through it now? No. Place high enough for me to see a light this time for me. But the snowstorm is completely covering the view. Okay. So is that it? I don't know. Maybe I can move this again. Maybe that's what I needed to do. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what I needed to do. Those are glowing, so let's go, let's, uh, go, oops. Explore. No. Oh. One of those is lit over here. So. This way, perhaps? Oh, what is this? Oh, I need that. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I found something! Um. Alright, cool. Thank you, thank you. Oh, ouch. What happened? Are you okay? Oh! Oh my god, the lizard guys! They went this way. 
I'm all like, I'm gonna follow them! Okay, so they came from this way, and they went that way. Alright, let's check this area out more. See if anything secretive is around here. No, no secrets there. Let's go this way. Let's go find the lizard folk. Hello, Lizzie. Uh, oh, Lizzie. The Ouch. same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Um, oh god, it's a puzzle, isn't it? Oh, wow, yeah. Journal has been updated. Um... What? What? The symbol on this stone e is illegible. Can I do something with it? I don't remember do this symbol. Oh, that glyph doesn't ring any bells. Um. Okay. I don't remember this symbol. Yeah, there symbol any on symbols the stone you remember? is illegible. They don't look like chicken. Hmm. This symbol is exactly the same with the one I saw in the vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. Oh. Okay, so apparently I just needed to look at them all. No, okay. So... Yeah. Yeah, I think I got what I need. We'll grab this and we'll be on our way! As fast as lightning. As fast as lightning can be. Lightning is very fast. Look how fast I am. I just edited it all out of the way. Okay. Uh, I think my little guys run out of breath here. Okay, so yep, there we go. Ooh, ooh, don't, don't. Whoa! Why did I open this? Like, why did, why did, why did I take that out? Where's that thing? Out. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, something happened. Alright, so what does this do? Uh oh. Well, you broke it! Oh. Oh, hey, those are stars, aren't they? They are. Oops. Oh. No. A network of blue lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of a star map. But why does that dot glow in a different color than the others? Nah. <laughs> Found another secret. Oh! I didn't notice this before. I see it now. This stonework seems weak. I'll pull out the axe! I, I don't know why, but I just don't feel like this would work. May, may, maybe, maybe I don't understand how axes work. And then I also don't know how to understand how rocks fall. Because I, I, I slightly feel like that this would be very painful to have rocks fall on your head. Just saying. I know, I know what's a game. Ooh, oh, oh, yo, creepy. Hello. Oh, I can take your head. A feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of the color that can be seen on a now solidified feathers that made me think of a flamboyant it might have once been. Wait, I read that wrong. Oh, well. 
totally read that wrong. Oh well, I've been reading a lot of things wrong. Hello, you do not have a, a, a happy skeleton head. A happy mask on your head. Uh oh. Woo. Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh. It's the, it's the, uh, what do you call him? The wall rider. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Alright. Okay. Ooh. What is this guy? What? Uh oh. Oh, no! Don't lose your sanity, dude. Come on, don't lose the sanity. What does it have? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Oh god. What was that all about? A vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Oh. That was kind of creepy, because I was like, alright, get the axe, get the axe! Blood. Blood? Touch it. Touch it. Don't touch it. That was kind of creepy. Oh, that was weird, too. What a strange... These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Yeah, but if I go and get the stone... Actually, where do I put the stone? But yeah, I was gonna say, if I go and get the stone, it'll lock me out, so... There's gotta be another way to get those ivy things out of there. Wow, there's a lot of these weird... Coffin things. It's giving me the creeps. I think- I think I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm most definitely stuck. And now I'm- I'm stuck in crouch mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've managed to get stuck in crouch mode. And I can't move. Or jump. Yeah, nothing. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm stuck. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here since I decided to get stuck. Anyway, hopefully when I save and quit and, like, come out of the game. Or, I mean, come back to the game. Hopefully I'm not still stuck here. <laughs> Hopefully. So anyway, but yes, I will go ahead and end the episode here. Let me know what you thought by either leaving me a pause up or pause down. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode. Night-night.